I think we need a few footsteps. So we're going to discuss how to randomize footsteps or how to randomize the clip that's getting played as you're playing footstep sounds so you don't hear the same sound over and over again. We're going to go and look on the FPS controller and you'll see here we have an area for footstep sounds. So let's make the size 4. So this is what we call an array and it's a group of data types that you can later access. So we created the size of the array to be 4. That means that we can have 4 different audio clips to put in there. So first we're going to go to audio, SFX, and we have footstep sounds. So we have exactly four of them right here. Perfect. So we're going to drag one footstep sound into each of these elements of the array. And that'll let us later choose between them randomly. So now, if we go to the first person controller script, we can see there's actually already a function called play footstep audio. So we're going to use that to play our footstep sounds. So like I said earlier, we need to randomize which footstep sounds are actually playing. So to do this, we're going to first create an integer. An integer is basically just a whole number in programming and we're going to call it in. We're going to set it to random dot range and we're going to make the minimum int 1 and the maximum int is the length of the array. The array is called m underscore footstep sounds So this array is called m underscore footstep sounds, and we're going to get its length. So we're going to do dot length. So that's going to create a random number between 1 and the amount of elements that are in the array, which we know are 4. Next we're going to check if the int that we generated actually has anything in it. So we're going to say if if m underscore footstep sounds equals null, meaning there is no footstep sound, or footstep sounds is dot length, the, the length of the array is less than or equal to 1, we're going to return. So if there is no footstep sound, or if the length of the array is less than or equal to 1, then we're not going to play the sound. But if it is, we do want to play the sound. So we're going to set the audio clip. Now this uh, function, because it was somewhat pre-built in Unity, um, is not using our custom audio function. This is just a slightly different way to do it. This does already have audio sources and audio clips set up in the inspector. So what we're going to do is load the clips into the audio sources. So we're going to say m underscore audio source dot clip is set to m underscore footstep sounds sub in. In is our random integer that we generated and when you want to call a certain index of an array you use the name of the array, the brackets, and then you type in the int that you want to access. Now we're going to do a play one shot of that audio source. Audio source dot play one shot down here. And we're going to play audio source dot clip. 
Now we're going to move the audio source to the beginning of the array so that it's not picked next time because our random number generator started at 1 and arrays always start at 0. So we're going to say m footstep sounds sub n is set to m footstep sounds sub 0. And then we're going to say m footstep sounds sub zero set to m audio source dot clip. Great. So now we should hear footstep sounds as we walk, and it will be randomized which footstep sound is playing as we're walking. Great, and you can even see that the speed changes when you hold down shift, so that if you're running, it sounds like you're running. Now, this sounds good, but there's a problem here. When we go into the water, it doesn't change, and that's a problem. So we need to make it so that when you go into the water, it doesn't play the regular footstep sound, it plays the water footstep sounds. So let's do that. So back in our first person controller, we have to do a little more work. Now, I've already set up a Raycast system so that it detects if water is underneath you. We're not gonna go into that in this video. We might go into it into another video, but we're gonna use it. So what do we need to do? First of all, we need to set up a switch. Now there's logic going on that sets an int in the game to be either one or zero based on if you're on regular ground or if you're in water. And so we're going to use that to change the footstep sounds. This is sort of like an if, but it's another way to do it. So first we're going to take this and we're going to indent it by pressing tab. Then we're going to press enter a couple times and we're going to create a switch. And this switch is going to be looking for the floor material. The floor material is an int um, that we have set up previously. So we actually need to indent this one more because in the switch we have cases. First, we have case zero, and that's going to be our normal footstep sounds. Uh, underneath this code block we need to type in break. Now we have to put in case 1. Case 0 means that the integer that we set up earlier is set to 0. Case 1 will mean the integer we set up earlier is set to 1. So case 1, I'm going to go ahead and type in break. So case one is very, very similar to case zero, except that it doesn't use the regular footstep sounds, it uses water footstep sounds. So what we're gonna do, we're going to set things up similarly, um, but this time we're going to, we need to name things a little bit differently. So we're going to say int b is set to random.range, one and m footstep sounds water and then if footstep sounds water is equal to null or footstep sounds water dot length is less than or equal to one, return. Then audio source clip or audio source dot clip 
is set to footstep sounds water sub in sub sorry sub b then audio source dot play one shot m audio source dot clip then we need to make sure it's not played the next time so we do m footstep sounds water sub n oops sub b sorry m footstep sounds water sub b is set to footstep sounds water sub zero and then m footstep sounds water sub zero is set to m audio source whoops is set to m audio source dot clip and we should be done now when we test out the game we should be able to hear water footsteps when we go into water and stone footsteps when we're on land water sounds and land sounds there you go if you're a music producer subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos track breakdowns elite sessions and more visit us at puremind.com